I'm Josh Lovejoy. I'm a designer at Microsoft. I helped to start a team called Ethics and Society. And we work to elevate the role of human-centered design uh, in the development of emerging technologies like AI, mixed reality, and machine perception. A lot comes down to what I see as the, the biggest fundamental issue in organizational behaviors. It's the tyranny of the 30-minute meeting. Everything has to be confined and constrained to some small chunk of time where people are asked to get the most important points across and to somehow come to some sort of agreement. Everybody has a picture in their head about something that they want to see realized in the world, something they're afraid of, something they care about. And usually when there's time compression, like those short meetings that appear on our calendar or some focused, got to make a decision right away, what tends to happen is that people just magnify like, the most important part of the picture they have in their head, and they just try to get that across. And the result is it doesn't leave a lot of room for people to actually uncover the truth, which is they have more in common than they really think that they might. And this has a detrimental effect to a lot of aspects of, I think, healthy culture, but most notably uh, on those that might not feel as psychologically safe to always jump in and respond and express their idea. There's a, there's a bias towards low latency responses, um, not necessarily the best well thought out response. And as a result, the pictures that we end up extracting from our heads more often than not are the pictures that are already well represented by a majority uh, or by people who feel safe enough are ready to share those. So our task as design sprint facilitators, whether it's in one sort of focused sprint or more at an organizational level, is to create those spaces where people have both the, the environment and the conditions, but also the types of exercises and the types of like modalities of creative expression that can elicit and extract those pictures from the heads of folks that might not have otherwise felt like they could rush in with their low latency response or that they thought everyone needed to hear their ideas right away. So the funny thing about leaders in big organizations, the sort of secret truth, is that often they're actually incapable of telling people what to do. Really what leaders are trying to do, more often than not, is green light things that they want to see more of and red light the things they want to see less of. And so there's a gap where makers want to make stuff, but they aren't always sure who will be ready to hear it or if they'll be recognized for the work that they do. And leaders don't always know how to inspire makers to act. And so one of the incredible things about design sprints is that they offer license to makers to come together and to do something with the awareness that there's a, a waiting audience with leadership. There's an aligned set of their colleagues who are excited to spend time and energy focusing on something that they also care about. And that there will be a feedback loop that can be created where they can be recognized for the consensus and the shared affinitized alignment that begins to emerge. And the types of organizational behaviors that leadership wants to encourage and see more of.